Our smartphones have become extensions of ourselves. We are constantly checking for notifications, scrolling through social media, and comparing our lives to others. This constant digital stimulation triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. Each like or notification provides a small hit of dopamine, reinforcing the behavior and creating a cycle of craving and reward. The brain is wired to seek pleasure and avoid pain. Social media platforms exploit this by providing a constant stream of easily accessible rewards. The more we engage, the more our brains become wired to crave these digital hits. This can lead to addiction-like symptoms, such as withdrawal, anxiety, and difficulty concentrating. Social media platforms are designed to keep us engaged. Notifications, endless scrolling feeds, and personalized content are all engineered to keep us hooked. This constant stimulation can have a profound impact on our brains, particularly on the neural pathways associated with reward, attention, and social connection. The more time we spend in the digital world, the less time we have for real-life interactions. This can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness as we become increasingly disconnected from the physical world around us. It's important to recognize the addictive nature of social media and to develop strategies for managing our use. Social media presents a curated version of reality. We see carefully selected photos, witty captions, and seemingly perfect lives. This constant exposure to idealized versions of others can lead to social comparison, envy, and feelings of inadequacy. We may start to feel like our own lives pale in comparison, leading to dissatisfaction and unhappiness. Excessive social media use has been linked to increased levels of anxiety and depression. The constant pressure to present a perfect online persona, the fear of missing out, and the negativity often found in online interactions can take a toll on our mental health. Studies have shown that people who spend more time on social media tend to have lower self-esteem. The curated nature of online profiles can make us feel like we don't measure up to the unrealistic standards set by others. This can lead to negative self-talk, body image issues, and a distorted perception of reality. It's crucial to remember that social media is not a reflection of real life. It's a curated highlight reel of carefully selected moments. By focusing on cultivating real-life connections and experiences, we can break free from the cycle of discontent and find true happiness and fulfillment. Real human connection is essential for our well-being. Face-to-face interactions release oxytocin, a hormone that promotes feelings of trust, bonding, and connection. Oxytocin is often referred to as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone because it is released during physical touch, such as hugging, kissing, and holding hands. Unlike dopamine, which provides a quick hit of pleasure, oxytocin promotes a sense of calm, contentment, and well-being. It strengthens social bonds, reduces stress and anxiety, and promotes empathy and compassion. When we prioritize real-life connections, we invest in our long-term happiness and well-being. Real-life interactions provide opportunities for genuine connection, shared experiences, and emotional support. When we spend time with loved ones, we feel seen, heard, and understood. These interactions nourish our souls and remind us that we are not alone. In a world increasingly dominated by digital communication, it's more important than ever to prioritize face-to-face -face interactions. Make time for coffee dates, phone calls, and shared activities with loved ones. These small investments in human connection can have a profound impact on our well-being. Section 4. Finding Balance in a Hyperconnected World Balancing social media use with real-life connections is crucial for our well-being. The key is to be mindful of our usage and to develop healthy habits that promote balance. Set realistic limits on your social media use. Consider using apps that track your screen time or setting specific times of day when you allow yourself to be online. Be intentional about your social media consumption. Unfollow accounts that make you feel inadequate or anxious. Fill your feed with content that inspires, educates, or brings you joy. Use social media as a tool for connection, not comparison. Instead of scrolling through social media in your free time, engage in activities that bring you joy and connect you with others. Join a club, take a class, or volunteer in your community. Make an effort to connect with friends and family in person. Remember that it's okay to disconnect from the digital world to focus on your well-being. Schedule regular digital detoxes where you disconnect from all devices for a set period of time. Use this time to reconnect with yourself, engage in activities you love, and nurture your real-life relationships. 
Section 5 Connected Verses, Truly Connecting In today's hyper-connected world, it's easy to mistake being connected online for true human connection. We can have thousands of online friends yet still feel deeply lonely. True connection requires vulnerability, empathy, and a willingness to be present with others. It's time to reclaim our attention and invest in the relationships that truly matter. By prioritizing face-to-face -face interactions, practicing mindfulness, and setting healthy boundaries with technology, we can cultivate a life filled with meaningful connections and genuine happiness. The difference between being connected and truly connecting lies in our willingness to put down our devices and engage with the world around us. Subscribe to Heritage Creator for more insights on cultivating a healthy mindset.